Hello everyone. This is the introduction video of Dapper.NET framework. Dapper.NET framework is open source, portable and runtime which help the developers build macro service based applications. And Dapper provide basic uh, actually we can say that Dapper provide uh, building blocks which help us to resolve the problems of distributed systems such as service to service invocation state management publisher and subscriber messaging services dapper runtime can be used with any programming language and infrastructure it does not matter it's on on promises or on the cloud services dapper is designed to work with a variety of languages and platforms uh, it work fine with kubernetes aws azure google platform extra in this uh, video series we will cover how we can install the wsl on the system on windows system and then how we can install the docker actually docker is pre request i will say in case of the dapper because whenever we are using the services of dapper lot of uh, things we need to deploy on the docker or inside the docker container so docker is one of the uh, required uh, uh, installation in this so uh, we will not go with the docker desktop because it is a paid software we can say that so we will go with the wsl and inside that we will use the ubuntu and uh, using that we will install the docker so uh, this is the dapper.io is the official website of dapper dapper stand for distributed application runtime and uh, uh, these are few the building blocks like publish and subscribe service invocation secret management input output binding state management virtual actors so these are all the things which are supported by the dapper or dapper provide these things to us so in upcoming videos we will discuss all these things um, first we will discuss installations and after that we will move toward the practical live it means actual uh, code concept to implement publish and subscriber service invocation secret management and state management we are saying uh, like uh, dapper is a portable so one of the benefit uh, i will give here one example why dapper is getting famous day by day for example we have any application which is using any cloud service let's say it's using the aws s3 service to store its uh, invoices or some other files on the s3 but in the future now the uh, client want to switch from uh, aws to the azure in that case uh, in the existing environment or in the existing coding structure they need to hire a new developer who will have the knowledge about uh, azure and uh, in that case that person also should have the knowledge about aws right so on, only then he or she can understand what is written for in the coding to upload or download anything on the AWS S3. Based on that understanding, that person will develop the new feature or new application. And uh, we can say that enhancement in which he or she will write the code inside the Azure. But Dapper remove this dependency. If you know anything about AWS coding or not, it does not matter. We will use the Dapper classes and using that Dapper classes, we, we can upload to the AWS. And in the future, if we want to switch to any other thing like in Google platform or Azure, we can just switch by just changing the configuration file. We will just change the connection strings or we can say that connections, how we can make into AWS or Azure. We will change that part only. We have no need to change any part inside the coding. Everything will be taken care by the Dapper framework. So that's why Dapper is getting famous day by day because this is one of the best benefit of it. Another benefit of uh, Dapper is that uh, it removes the concept of uh, or failure of uh, state management when we are dealing with the microservices which are distributed, right? So here we can have the state management and that state management can be used by all the application distributed on the different uh, uh, servers and they all can use the common platform or common thing for the state management in that case state will be we can share the state among all the distributed applications dapper also provide the grpc and uh, 
uh, other protocol like uh, we can use the HTTP, gRPC and many other protocols are supported here we can deploy application and that application interact through the gRPC as well as through the HTTP ports protocols in case of service to service uh, invocation or service invocation the one of the best benefit here the service discovery right here is the concept uh, where we are using just app id and using that it is automatically discover the application where it is deployed and calling or we can call any methods from it that we will understand more uh, when we will actually implement that part so this is the uh, actually website of the dapper from where we can learn a lot of things about the basic concepts of dapper how it is working anyway i will explain everything in the upcoming video first we will install the wsl then docker then we will install the dapper cli i will explain how we can install the dapper cli on the window and on the linux system and uh, then we will start to use it and also i will explain what uh, are the global locations inside the system get created when we install the dapper cli so i think that's all in the introduction video in the upcoming videos we will start step by step uh, that's all in this video stay connected for the dapper series thank you everyone